Unlike previous peace deals, the Treaty of Versailles signed by Germany at the end of the First World War was not negotiated but imposed by the victorious Allied powers. At the time of its drafting, foreign diplomats concluded its context would surely lead to future military conflict. Under its provisions, Germany ceded all her colonies in Africa and the Pacific. Her armed forces, once the largest and most powerful in all Europe, was reduced to a strength characteristic of that of a third world country. Germany was also forced to admit the entire blame for the outbreak of the war and pay an extravagant sum of monies to the victors, a clause which would bankrupt the country and keep her poor and unable to recover. Territorially, Germany was required to give up the Alsace and Lorraine regions along with the west bank of the Rhine River to France. Belgium also acquired 400 square miles of western Germany. In the east, a newly independent Poland received the German province of Poznan, allowing her access to the Baltic Sea. The Polish concession, however, cut off East Prussia from that of Germany, a decision which greatly affected the Germans with a deep hatred for the rest of Europe and does much to explain the popularity and rise of Hitler and the Nazis a dozen years later. After the outbreak of war in 1939, Germany's stunning military triumphs shocked the world. Within a year, Poland, Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium, and France were defeated, with Great Britain pushed from the continent and now isolated. Encouraged by Hitler's military success, fascist Italian dictator Benito Mussolini declared war on the Allies on June 10, 1940. However, by the end of the year, Italian forces in North Africa and Greece had not achieved victory, but were on the defensive. Although the Germans had been repulsed in the four-month air battle of Britain from July to October, the achievements of the German U-boat campaign against Allied shipping convoys to England had enabled Hitler to turn his attention towards the Balkans. By threat or diplomacy, the Balkans were brought under the German sphere of influence by spring of 1941. The Germans had also propped up the failing Italian position in North Africa and had settled Italy's war with Greece by force of arms. On June 22, Hitler stunned the world, launching Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. Comprising the largest military force ever assembled, nearly 4 million German soldiers, 3,000 tanks, 7,000 artillery pieces, and 4,000 aircraft. Despite enormous Russian losses numbering in the millions and German forces reaching the very gates of Moscow, the unexpected Soviet counteroffensive on December 5th pushed the Germans back, saving the capital. During the European conflict, America had remained neutral. Only a declaration of war by Hitler on December 10th, following the Japanese successes in the aftermath of the Pearl Harbor attack, ensured that America would fight in Europe. In the summer of 1942, German military victories in Russia followed the pattern set the previous year. The Soviets once again gave up large tracts of land and suffered immense losses in both men and war materials. However, in late November, the Russians launched a major counterattack in the south, defeating Axis forces and encircling the German 6th Army at Stalingrad. After a three-month siege, the Germans were forced to surrender on February 3, 1943, after suffering 300,000 casualties, including 91,000 prisoners taken. Although the successful German counteroffensive at Kharkov for a time revived hopes for victory in the East, the major defeat suffered at the Battle of Kursk in July ended this false optimism, and the long Axis retreat was resumed. By September 1943, German and Italian forces had been pushed out of North Africa, and the Allies had landed forces on mainland Italy itself. Italian fascist dictator Benito Mussolini had been overthrown and deposed, with the Italians signing a peace treaty with the Allies. The Germans quickly moved in forces and occupied Italy, then in a daring commando raid rescued Mussolini from the Gran Sasso Hotel atop the remote mountain ranges north of Rome. 
Hitler then installed Mussolini as head of the Italian Social Republic, effectively a German-controlled puppet state in northern Italy. By December 1943, the U-boat threat to the Atlantic supply routes to England had been defeated and secured, and after a two-year struggle, British and American heavy bombers were beginning to achieve important results against industrial targets within Germany. By the time of the successful Allied invasion of France in June 1944, Germany's decline had become completely irreversible. Her losses in manpower and war materials had been immense. The failed assassination attempt of July 20th on Hitler's life only confirmed the army's desire to end the war. Several months of military defeats on three fronts would now follow. Germany's last offensive of the war in December 1944 against the Allies in the West ended in failure, and her forces in the East were in full retreat. In January 1945, Soviet forces crossed the Polish border into Germany and had reached the Oder River, a mere 100 miles from Berlin. Then, on March 22nd, Allied armies crossed the Rhine River into Germany. On April 25th, American and Russian forces met up at the Elbe River, effectively cutting Germany in two. Only the Battle of Berlin now remained as the last gasp of the dying Third Reich. Beginning on April 16th, this horrific encounter would last 17 days. During the street fighting, Adolf Hitler would commit suicide in his underground bunker below the Reichstag on the 30th, and the city would fall to the Russians on May 2nd. Germany itself would hold out another week until their official surrender on May 8th.